we know that goal setting is powerful for helping students to learn. So I created alicekeeler.com slash simplequest. And what SimpleQuest allows you to do is to create a Google form that allows students to create goals. Now, if they're creating goals, it means they wouldn't select everything. So what SimpleQuest does is it creates a spreadsheet that allows you to ask questions for students to goal set, and they'll say if they've accomplished it, if they're working on it, if they're going to skip it. So you want to make sure that you put more options on there than they need to show. So the first thing we're going to do is go to alicekeeler.com slash SimpleQuest. Make a copy. Now it's always going to take about a minute for the code to load when you do any of my add-ons. So what we're waiting is for when we go to the add-ons menu that SimpleQuest shows up in the add-ons menu. Now this is loading. It's a bounded script. The script is actually tied to this particular spreadsheet. I have not submitted it to Google. So you'll expect to get a warning that it's not been approved by Google because I didn't submit it to them. So we're going to go to the add-ons menu, and under add-ons, we're looking for it to say simple quest down here at the bottom. So again, remember, it can take a little bit of time for that to show up. And one more time, add-ons, simple quest, there it is, and we're going to choose set up simple quest. You're going to need to authorize it. And once you authorize it, the menu will show up here on the bot side. Now, I've already chose setup, so I don't need to do that. What I want to do is then come over here to the Google form, the spreadsheet, so I can set up my Google form. So what am I going to title my game? What do I want to challenge students to set goals on? Maybe my geometry unit four. You want to be a master at circles. And so then it's going to ask for their first name, their last name, uh, what period they're in. And then here is where you want to really focus, is where it starts doing the quest. You can add as many quests as you want. So can identify the ortho center. And you might want to, over here in column C, say what does that mean. You are able to use the definition of the ortho center to demonstrate that you can identify from a construction construction image what the ortho center is. Can identify the median knows what the median of a triangle is. Right, and I can just keep adding quests. Here is another one. So you're going to put in all of the goal setting that students are going to do for your simple quest. And then you're going to come over to the sidebar and create simple quest form. So you can see down here that it is getting information from the spreadsheet. It is generating and creating the form. And again, that might take just a little bit of time. So be patient. It's going to show up the links right in the spreadsheet once it's created it. So you can see that it is working. It has created a tab for the form responses. And so that's something that's really nice is that it creates the form and that spreadsheet we use to set up the simple quest to create the Google form also becomes the response destination so you don't have too many documents. So you can see right up here in blue is the edit form URL and the publish form URL. So I'm going to go to the edit form URL and this is your game, which you'll notice is pretty boring. So you may want to add an image. I'm going to do a Google image search. This would not be the definition of fun. Um, I'm going to put a picture of a math problem in here. All right, so I have a picture. I have these questions in there. And then you'll notice that it automatically added a multiple choice question for each of the questions, the quests that I added on to the spreadsheet. So those are on there and the choices are achieve this, working on it, and skipping. Okay, so once you have created your Google form, you're obviously going to share this with students. So I'm going to click the eyeball. They'll be able to fill this out.
and they say, I'm skipping this one, I can do this one, and I'm working on that one. These are my goals, I'm working on it, and I'm gonna submit. And you'll see, does that allow them to edit your response, which is kind of useless, because they'd have to somehow keep that link to come back. So the idea is it's like, I don't know this, I don't know this, I don't know this, but I'm gonna work on it. And then I'm gonna come back and say that I've achieved it for the different quests or ideas. So I should have gotten, once the form is filled out, the student will get an email saying that they, for their simple quest, they're having a follow-up, and they actually get the link to go back. So if they save the email, they'll be able to get back to the Google form so they can say, okay, I was working on this, but now I have achieved this, and resubmit. Now back on the spreadsheet, you'll see that we have the form responses tab that records their name and their responses and it counts how many that they have achieved. So it's looking for achieved this and it is counting that. You'll see this little uh, note that's on here to say that I've updated it. So I actually went back, updated my answer, changed it, and that reflects here in the spreadsheet. There's also a tab of submissions that shows the link for each of the submissions every time the student submits and resubmits. It puts it on the submissions tab. So if the student needs to get the link back, like, oh, Keeler, I lost that email, I'm able to get them the link so they can fill it out again to update their goal setting for the simple quest.